Right, the story so far. Um, the the valve um, the valve way here has been machined. Um, obviously, the valve port, the steam ways inside have been milled, um, as you saw from the previous uh, milling operations. I milled straight through there by mistake. That's now been rectified, and uh, a lump sol silver soldered in there. This plate here has been silver soldered up, silver soldered on. Um, that locates in the top of the boiler, in the bush at the top of the boiler. Um, the uh, recess for the actuation um, lever has been milled out. Um, the big chunk that I had on the bottom, um, excess material for keeping it square and work holder and so on, has been removed. Um, so, what's to do now? Well. As far as this um, piece is concerned, I need to put a hole in here where the main steam pipe comes in and also a hole in here which will um, be the, the actuation um, rod for this actuation lever. Now then, just going by measurements off the drawing and so on is just... Um, well, it's a recipe for disaster um, because you know the the boiler has been made. There are various uh, differences to the drawing on the boiler. Um, even if it was cock on, um, the chances of of uh, finding the right pipe position, um, considering the the pipe is clamped a good what, four or five inches downstream of this and of course within the boiler itself this pipe's going to be wobbling about to some extent so the idea is is to fit this whole lump where it belongs on the loco and tighten the whole thing down then put a point in the um, steam pipe and equally on the um, actuating um, shaft from outside and scribe on here and here where those centres are likely to be. Um, I'll only then be confident enough to, to bore these holes out. Right, that's it so far. Right, so the way this works, this will slot in there like that. The steam pipe, which is here, fits in from the front, so that needs cut into size. And I need to fashion some sort of point on it so it can um, scribe on the uh, body of the regulator block. And the actuation shaft, I need to make the bushings for this, the shaft itself, put all that together. And then that will locate the, the the point on the regulator body where that needs to be drilled and reamed. Okay, and just to hold everything in position, I've got a gasket. There we go, and a top cap like that. So that's how the whole thing will look. When it's complete.
Right, now it's time to determine where the steam pipe will enter this regulator body. Now you can see there's a punch mark there. I made that early doors uh, in the construction of this, or the machining of this, um, just to give me some idea where the pipe will um, enter and to give me a bit of a, a double check, if you like, on the, the machining of the these pockets and, and the valve slide way here. Um, but now's the time to see how... how uh, how accurate that was. What I'm going to do is fit the body in there and with this uh, transfer punch which just happens to be the perfect fit for that steam pipe I send that down there give it a tap and and just see how it uh, compares uh, with the original uh, pop back. Uh, obviously this is the more accurate way of doing it and it'll be interesting to see how close it is to uh, the damage it's taken directly from the drawing. Right, um, the original hole I encircled with felt pen, and as you can see there, if it focuses, you can see there that's where the actual position is. And uh, I've measured that, and that difference is about 50 thou, which doesn't sound a lot, and considering that the steam pipe is fixed at the front end of the boiler a good seven and a half inches away from this point then um, it's not at all bad really but it is the difference between something being slightly misaligned and leaking steam potentially or being steam tight um, so we won't go with the drawing position here we'll go with this position here Okay, we've made the uh, bushings um, for the actuation uh, shaft. I've put a transfer punch in there, and that's now just resting against the uh, regulator body inside. So I'll just give it a quick tap, and that should give us the location for the shaft. Right, we'll see what we've got. Well, as you can see, there is the uh, centre punch mark, and it looks a little bit close to the edge for my liking. However, we have still got some meat on this radius here. So what I've done, because obviously you can't drill into that without... Um, the drill wandering as it goes around the radius. So using the height gauge I've located that that pop mark and transferred it around to the other side. You can see there's plenty more meat. So what we'll do is centre pop that and then that will be the location for the uh, hole for the actuation shaft. <laughs> 